Hello everyone, welcome back to The Journeyman. Today we are playing Jurassic Planet again and as promised we will be doing the park tour. Uh, thanks for tuning in once again uh, if this is your first time on the channel or you're following up this video series. Um, yeah, uh, we, we stumbled across the tour vehicles last time and um, yeah, we just wanted to go on the old little tour. So as soon as they arrive, uh, we will we'll jump in one and uh, get a move in. Let's have a little stroll up here, see if they're coming. Uh, one thing I did um, want to point out is that uh, when you first log into this game, I didn't notice it last time, is that it says 2002 Isla Nublar, which is kind of an odd um, date to pick it's almost like the uh the, the what's going on at the moment is they're repairing jurassic park whereas uh in the official canon of the film series 2002 is when uh Maserani global moved in and um started uh, construction on jurassic world and uh, at that point, you know, in nine, ten years uh, late uh, after the events of the first movie, I'm pretty sure all of this would be in a lot worse nick than it is now. So, um, yeah. Um, so I don't know. I haven't looked into the developers' um, notes or any backstory that much to see why they chose 2002, if it was something related to that or... Um, you know, maybe it's wishful thinking for them that this is, you know, they're creating their own kind of headcanon uh, for the game uh, and for the series. But, you know, for me, uh, the official canon on the viral sites is, you know, 100% truth and the, yeah, 100% what it is. Um, you know, obviously I'm going to say that considering I worked on most of them um, but yeah where are these cars um, you know when I showed up last time is that them? no yeah when I showed up last time they were pretty much there oh did they come when I come out of the thing yeah it would have been nice to uh, jump in them oh no where are they gonna come from oh ooh, raptor pen um, uh, do I want to go the Raptor Pen now, or do I just want to do the tour? Let's go give it a little chance. A chance, see. Oh, it's so tempting to go. Would the would the jeeps tour past this? Hmm. I'm kind of doing the reverse of the tour, unless I miss them. Maybe. Uh, Whoa, my driving's terrible. They're nowhere to be seen at the moment. Maybe it's kind of like a trigger when you come out of the visitor center, they show up. Because I'm pretty sure that's what happened last time. So let's, uh, let's have a little nose in the visitor center and come straight out and see if they show up. Um, but we'll be definitely having a look at the raptor pen in episode 3 um, yeah for, for today I want to do the tour so let's get back here am I taking a wrong turn? no? no let's just park it over here get out Right, let's go in. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. A lot of this, um, you know, ten years after the events of Jurassic Park would be in a lot less nice uh, in a, a worse off condition basically um, but yeah you know but anyway this game is 
is it what is what it is and i'm not going to let that take away from the experience i just thought that was kind of an odd choice maybe if you know the reason for it let me know in the comments um, below or send us a tweet or something all the social links will be at the end of the video now we just got to wait for these loading screens Okay. Give me the tour vehicles. Give me the tour vehicles. Yeah, see, there must be a trigger then. Okay, so that was a lot of unnecessary uh, driving about we just did. But should we go front or back? Um, whoa! <laughs> just drove straight into me. From nearby Costa Rica, and take advantage of our Terrasar's eye view tour of the park's spectacular coastline. Nice. So why and V? So it's B. Oh, coming up ahead. Night vision. Is our multi-level visitor center. This is where you'll begin your prehistoric adventure. The central X. rotunda displays the fossilized remains of creatures nice. that were brought back from extinction. That's really fucking cool. Genetic engineering. They are a reminder of a past where we could only look at the bones of the now living, breathing creatures. Of Jurassic Park. I remember a, a few years ago someone recreated the um no other as you visit the actual labs and hatchery where the animals this tour the guide I wonder if it's the same food. one like they asked them the to use it or not ask them and just used it anyway at our restaurant Le Gigantes I'll have to look into that visit the gift shop where you can find all your Jurassic Park merchandise always pumping that merch merchandise please exit the vehicle and head towards the visitor center <laughs> Hey, just jump out now and uh if you've lost your visitor pass then please request a new one at the main desk if you are staying for the tour please stay seated and we will begin momentarily there she is the big gates huh <laughs> i didn't know the jungle theme is open the film during most of your tour the appropriate information will be automatically selected and displayed for you Simply touch the area of the screen displaying the appropriate icon. Welcome to Jurassic Park. What do they got in there, King Kong? That's cool. Wonder how long this tour goes on for. Hmm. <laughs> Just a whole lot of sitting around. Actually, this tour probably would have been a, a quite boring in real life. Uh, yeah, it's not. This is that whole area where it looks like they're just holding out for future development. A um, whole lot of nothing still going on. Anything in here? Not that we can see. Just a. A mini mountain or a mound or a hill whatever you want to call it see the Avery off there in the distance uh, so far this is a lot less interesting than I thought it would be <laughs> still a whole lot of nothing actually kind of regretting this tour now should take us probably another few minutes to get to the Avery hmm yeah um yeah i can imagine once they've finished this up um it would be quite cool but at the moment it's quite the opposite i think we're going to go through the avery that would be quite interesting uh oh it looks very very misty in here is there something in the mist Spooky. <laughs> We're finally getting somewhere and we can't see anything. Nice. Oh. Ooh. Ah, it's annoying because we can't look up in the car. Oh yeah, look, they are. Over there. 
Our first stop on the Jurassic Park tour is Flying Reptiles. Oh, nice shadow. Uh, it's a shame that you can't actually uh, look up in the air. Um, yeah, the the tour voiceover seems to have gone. Um, yeah, that was interesting. Ish. Oh, something special around it here. Yeah? I can hear growling. What is it? Hello. Show me the dinosaurs. This is like Jurassic Park. I'm not seeing anything. <laughs> oh, what's that? What is that? Did I see something? Or am I seeing things? I think I'm seeing things. Yeah, I think the fencing with the background is kind of making it jump around, look like there is stuff in there. Yeah, this is annoying. Yeah, when we come out of the mist, um, I heard a growl. Oh, see? Ah, oh, look, stegosaurs. Nice. Where's the boy Sober? Ah, oh, that's cool. And that was that. Well, there's branches in the road. Can we dump up in? I'll just go through them. There's the other side of the lake. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually quite regretting going on this tour now. I've probably been driving for about 15 minutes. I uh, see a couple of uh, Tyrannodon shadows. Uh, there's another Stegosaur up there who's actually running away. I think this actually exposes how much of a failure the Jurassic Park Jeep tour would have been. I mean, the film kind of showed that in the first place, but this confirms it. You think down there in the little lagoon? No. Uh, whoop. They just seem to want to run away from the jeeps. A whole lot of nothing again. I wonder how much of the um actually never mind that's a stupid question. Right, so um basically I've skipped right ahead to the end of the tour because unfortunately the tour, as you could see from what I showed so far, was just incredibly boring. Um there was interesting stuff uh along it, but sitting in the Jeeps, you know the the commentary uh, or the tour guide commentary just wasn't there and you know anything that I did want to see was rather in the distance or you know we just zipped right past so what I'm gonna do in another video is explore each of them elements um, on foot or in one of the uh, the Jeeps and um, look at them then but I want to end this episode or at least before the end of this episode go and check out that raptor pen so um where was it it was up here on the left i wonder oh yeah i wonder if there is actually any raptors in it because we've got dinosaurs in this game we know that for a fact um yeah definitely in the next episode we're gonna have a little in-depth look at the aviary and uh, some other pens that I stumbled across. Yes, here we go. Here we go. Please be raptors. Please be raptors. Please be raptors. Please be raptors. Oh, this is fucking awesome. This actually... Um, again, no... Oh, and they've got the... Uh, the the, uh, the bloody travelling box. Or the... Oh, is there a raptor in there? Oh, this is cool. Can we climb up? Can we raise the gate? Oh, I can't climb up. That's a fucking shame. But, um, yeah, that is cool. 
That is so cool. You should check out a, uh, a channel um, called the All Fish and Auto. It's uh, it's like a aficionado, but a fish and auto, like automobile. A guy named Chris, he, um, I haven't seen him on there in a long time, but he did a channel. Um, basically, uh, you've probably already seen some of the stuff. Uh, he's big into sort of like the Jurassic Park Jeeps and the Jurassic Park Motorball, where, you know, fans around the world create their own uh, Jurassic Park replica cars and things like that, custom builds. And, um, he did a whole series on when they, where they, um, he went along, uh, was this guy named Frank and they basically bought the Jurassic, uh, the Jurassic, the Lost World RV, uh, you know, the one the Rex is pushed over the cliff, uh, from the movie, the actual one of the ones from the film, uh, which was just sitting in a, uh, basically like a junkyard for 20 years. Um, they actually bought it and started renovating it and in the junkyard they actually had this from Jurassic Park as well um, which was basically I mean in the, like in the film that it looks like a big metal um, like transport container sort of thing but in real life it was basically made out of wood so it was pretty pretty in pretty bad shape after all these years but I think they did eBay it off um, a, a while after that video, uh, the the owners. Um, is there any raptors in here? Can't hear any. No. Um, God, this person must be really short as well. <laughs> That's a quite a high doorknob. Here we go. But I do absolutely. I love the look of this. Actually, this looks fucking cool, and it's even got the. Uh, that sort of stepped hill um, environment which is in the background of the films which um, is actually a location in Hawaii um, well, it's a shame there's no raptors um, can't really jump over or anything like that E is like the interact can I push do anything here lock no Hmm. That's cool, that. <laughs> yeah. It's sort of like bounced out as well. Um, yeah, it's like bounced out. So the raptor at the beginning of Jurassic Park who pushed it out. <laughs> That's quite funny. Um, yeah, but oh, man, I wish we could have gone up there at least, uh, opened that door. But uh, that is pretty cool nonetheless. It's almost like a shot out of the film. Yeah, so cool. I think by far this one, you know, these games are getting way more impressive. Um, these fan games as I go along, you know, Jurassic Park S was really cool. Um, you know, some of the dinosaurs or the brachiosaurs in that looked a bit meh, and then you had that weird Silent Hill thing going on. Um, then we had Jurassic Dream, which was really impressive. Um, but this game is, I think, is probably the best one so far Jurassic Park fan game you're yeah, not taking anything away oh, look, you've got the trees and that where they bring it in they're so cool yeah not taking anything away from the other games they're still fucking cool and the people behind them are incredibly talented but um yeah this one takes the biscuit so far where are my jeeps nice I could actually jump over something <laughs> I can't get over this one All right. Is there anywhere else we can go before the end of this video? Should we take a little stroll down there? Did we drive down there? Yeah, we went down there, didn't we, when we were looking for the uh, the Jeeps. Um, before, um, yeah. Earlier. Uh, what is this, the back end of the tour? Hmm. Little bridgey again. Ah, yes. Um, I see this before, um, and I wanted to come back and show you how cool is this. Watch this reveal. Dun dun dun. It's the maintenance shed from Jurassic Park, full with or fully with log 
that Ellie jumps over when she's like, when Mo, uh, Muldoon's like, go now. And uh, she runs all the way to the maintenance shed. Yeah, that's cool. Um, danger, danger, high voltage. Actually, it does look a little bit different. Is it the same one? I just assumed it when I come past before because I thought, oh shit, the, the log as well, the fallen tree. Um, it kind of looks like it. I think I'm completely wrong here. I take that back anyway, um, if I am wrong. Which means the one that Ellie and Muldoon go into must still be out there. Is it? Is it the one? You would think it, wouldn't you? Hmm. And the the fact that the fallen tree is there as well is kind of a weird nod. If it wasn't the one, maybe it's just a shed, and they haven't got that other one. And um, okay, if we had just put the the fallen tree in there as a nod, hmm, this is weird. Can I get up this hill? Strange. I think I'm actually lost now. I got turned around out here. Ah, oh, that's the road. Time to ease on down the road. Oh, where am I? Where is my Jeep? Have I lost my Jeep now? Great. I've lost my Jeep. It was rolling. Is it rolled in? Ah, oh, look, there it is. Rolled into the bush. So we're going to head back to the... Is there anything down these little roads? Visitor Centre. Check out some of the little other side roads. On the way. Um... Yeah, this game is like full of surprises, like that maintenance shed. I zipped right past it earlier, and it was only that I caught it a glimpse out the corner of my eye, sort of looking around like this, that I almost missed it. Um, so yeah, you've got to be quite careful when playing this to miss out on the little nuggets. Little nuggets. Hmm. Yeah. Let's head back to the VC. So I took a, a turn in that I haven't seen before. So I'm wondering where this takes me. No! We did. Oh my god. Is this the one? Uh, let me get out of the car a minute. Wrong way. Oh, my car's rolling into it. Now, this is the shed. What am I talking about? I think I looked at this before, didn't I? This is the one I think that Hammond and Malcolm and all of that take shelter in. Oh, that's telling me to get in the car, isn't it? I completely confused myself then. I was like, wait a minute, is this the maintenance shed? Well, I'm inside. Oh, cool. Nothing inside, but yeah. <laughs> Strange. And now I press the button and I'm back at the helipad. That's even weirder. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I confused myself then. I was like, wait, is this the, the uh, maintenance shed um, that Ellie goes in? But then I was like, no, actually, I've been here before. This is the sort of like the shelter that um, Malcolm, Muldoon, Ellie, and all of that um, take cover in. Um, yeah, this game, I've, I've confused myself by just going to all these different places so quickly. But um, yeah, I think next episode we'll jump in this bad boy because it looks like you can get in. Um, and we'll take the a little look around the island that way, see if there's anything we can see from the skies that I haven't planned on going to see yet. 
Uh, other than that, we'll do take some stop-offs on the tour, like the Avery and some other dinosaur enclosures. Um, I think you know which one I'm going to definitely be stopping by. But yeah, thanks for watching. Um, sticking with this episode, it was a bit of a tough one, considering you know I didn't expect the tour to be um, so boring like that. And... You know, it's been a bit choppy going to here, there, and everywhere. I, you know, I, I, I'm going to cut out all the all the sort of long-winded parts that uh, nothing happens, but you know that already by watching it. So, yeah, thank you, thank you for watching again. Uh, please like and subscribe. The socials are on your screen now. Please comment below. Yeah, I'm, I'm making a uh, a promise now um, until further notice that I'm gonna reply to all comments uh, I, I at least acknowledge all comments on here please share the videos this that and the other followers as I said follow the socials and I will see you on the next video thank you very much